hello um this is gonna be part one of this tutorial in where i'm going to be doing the effect where it will look like a shadow sail hole effect i don't know how to say it my english is not very good looking but you gotta for for this effect to work you pretty much have to mess with your wind lights um when you're messing with your wind lights it's going to give you because with some wind lights this will not work when you go to fix environment um you see where it says scene gamma you put that down like that and you see how I got the silhouette effect. I think that's what it's called. Um, and you'll be able to do... Your, you got to make sure that your environment is not a lot of stuff around you. And if you can see right here, if you have a face light, it's not going to... It's not going to give you the effect. You have to have on no face light. Or anything that is bright on and then you will get the effect and what I mean by wind lights because now look if I change my wind light the effect is pretty much gone but if I go back to that wind light which is photo tools move light you know it works and it works with a lot of different wind lights not just this one um but you just gotta find the wind light that's going to work for your effect because a lot of the wind lights is just not gonna work so you just gotta keep messing with your wind lights until you get your effect that you're looking for and you gotta make sure you know you take you you do what you gotta do because when like right now their light is shining on me so it's messing up the effect so you just gotta be real mindful with your lighting and with the surroundings that you have around you to get the effect to work properly let me move some back here like you can see um i'm not using my fly cam so i hate this controller thing but when you remember you go to a fixed environment and you're seeing your gamma scene like you gotta mess with this right here the more you um mess with your settings the moisture everything is gonna bring your effect in or out see you're gonna just mess with your density and you make it how you want it how you want it to you know you're my background a little brighter or my background darker here see good mess with your sun angle and you, you know these are things that's gonna affect your effect when you're messing with it because you got to make sure that your lightning is just correct for this effect to be effective now you see i'm moving my camera around and it's not going away but if i go to them i could see them because well him because i think my son just left to um show the kids his land but you just got to mess around with your lighting so you could be able to get this silhouette effect. I, don't, I'm, I'm, I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm butchering the name. But I will put the name of the effect in the description. And I hope this helps. If you don't, don't have the wind light, you could hit me up in Word, your virtual bunny. My name is on the screen. And I will be more than happy to send you some wind lights for Black Dragon that will create your perfect video and give you the perfect effects that you are looking for. Now that 
It's just my Abby over there. Go over here. And you see we have the perfect effect. So just pretty much you got to just mess with your surroundings. Make sure it's not too much stuff around you. That's going to bring light. Because a lot of stuff have light built, in it, built into it on Second Life. So you got to be very mindful of that. When you're trying to get this effect to work. Because then it won't work if you're um, not in the correct lighting. But if you need any more tips, any videos, anything you guys would like to see, just shoot me a message on either one of my um accounts, your virtual bunny or papote. That's me as well. And I will be more than happy to help you. Um I got some wind lights that I could actually transfer to you that you could put into Black Dragon instead of the default wind lights and that would be very very helpful because a lot of people you know want to do little special things there i go again they didn't go on do not disturb let me go on do not disturb mm -mm. there we go and that should help so i'm willing to help anybody that would like to get the wind lights or any tips with black dragon soon i will be doing some editing videos with premiere pro and thank you very much i hope this helped you and again hit me up if you need any tips any help have a good day hello 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 i'm sitting here with myself my son my grandbaby and sam alama ding dong and <laughs> she gonna say something i know she is and i'm going to do a tutorial today on light boxes there's so many things that you could do with light boxes that a lot of people don't know um but my main thing that i'm going to be teaching is how to put an image on a light box that's going to reflect back on you you could use any image and you're gonna and you're able to do it locally which means you do not have to upload the image into second life i'm using black dragon and um the only thing is you're the only one that's going to be able to see this effect it's going to be like if you're recording it, it'll show or whatever. But locally in world, nobody else will be able to see it other than yourself. So let's get started. We're going to go to Dragon. And we're going to go to Tools. And you're going to build a regular little box. Okay. Now on this box if you go to features you could turn on a light turn on a, turn it off turn it off okay so you see this little box that's over here down here i don't think my cursor is showing but this little square boxes i will um circle it or put a mark on it as i edit the video if you press this box with the x click local add it's gonna take you here let's use biggie okay so is this big yes apply immediately and okay now you see the image is projecting on the floor um which means that's the way the light is shining we're gonna do this like this let's Switch our wind light to something darker. Mm. Here we go. And then environments, and we close that down. 
Now you can move these wherever you want it. And you can rotate your image however you want to put it on your video or on your picture or whatever it is that you're doing. This tutorial is short and sweet. You could go back to build tools and then we click the box next to it and we could change our color on our light box. And this will give a good little, like if you have a wall or, you know, whatever you want to put there. We could change the image, of course. Go back to local. Add. Let's do this one. Apply. Ooh, there we go. And this is a good little trick that you could do with your light boxes and you give it a good effect to whatever it is that you're doing even if you alpha out your light box you will still be able to see your image features Just change the light make it brighter like that. See? And just like that, you could dance, you could do whatever you want with your projector. And this you could use any any light that you want pretty much any picture that you want you could use on this let me see there we go and that will be our tutorial for today short and sweet if anything that you guys want me to teach you just let me know Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah. Sexy love, what she need for my bad boy like me.